Welcome back everyone to a brand new COC episode where we are going to go over some more of the new update features inside of the game. So I'm your host of course General Tony and right now in this episode we're going to be focusing on that brand new level 7 hog rider. So we're about to gem it to max level guys because we only have level 6. 48 of them inside of our army camps there. We're about to go into the shop and buy ourselves some gems and get them to level 7 in a few moments time. Just before we do I wanted to show you this guys and it's a hog rider event. So it, it's, it's very fitting in this episode, guys. So check it out. The event challenge. Win multiplayer battles. You must use 10 hog riders. You've got to win three battles. And the reward for doing that, if you use 10 hog riders each one, is 300 experience points and 30 gems. So not bad. The event's going to last two days, guys. So far, it's been going on for five hours. I'm sure there are millions of people who have already completed the event. So the, uh, the, the greatest thing about this is... It actually gives you a cost discount, so usually at level 6, they cost 90 Dark Elixir. Now Supercell are only charging us 9, so that's not too bad at all. So if we go into hit the train tab, you can see it only costs 9 Dark Elixir to train a level 6 Hog Rider, so that is so cheap. But as I said guys, we're about to get ourselves into a little gem spree, so let's go into the shop. And we're not going to buy a huge amount of gems, we're going to go for a box of gems, $50.00. That should be enough to get myself loads of Dark Elixir and of course get those level 7 Hog Riders. So let's do this. So there we go. We just got ourselves $50 worth of gems. Now I will say guys, if you do want to get yourself some free gems, there is a link down below. It will be right at the top of the description box. Click the link. It's going to take you over to a site. Now this site is called Cash Fraps and they've actually just refreshed loads of apps for the Christmas period. So you can get gems literally quicker than ever before. If you do want to get yourself some free gems, as I said, use the link down below. You will be able to redeem some 10, 15, even $25 gift cards, guys, if you have a few hours spare. So feel free to use that link, guys. It's for Android and, of course, iTunes. But for now, we're going to gem ourselves these level 7 hog riders. So, of course, there is only one thing to do. It's time to bring General Tony back. So if you've been subbed to the channel for a while... You will know me not as General Tony, you will know me as General Tony. Let's see how many of those we can get trending down below, guys. Comment hashtag General Tony down below in that comment section if you love me gemming. If you don't love me gemming, then comment hashtag General Tony. Let's see which one gets more comments. So here we go, into the research center, and we're going to actually, hold on a second, guys. We're going to need to buy ourselves 200,000 Dark Elixir, so that's going to cost us 5,000 gems. Where is it? Here we go. A full, it's officially a full Dark Elixir storage. Let me get a cool little screenshot of that, guys. So we're going to bring that there. Got to get a nice little screenshot of that. So there we go. And we're also going to get a nice little screenshot. I don't even know if I can pronounce that properly. A nice little screenshot of the 200,000 on its own. So check it out, guys. Top right-hand corner, 200,000 Dark Elixir, just in case I want to use that for a thumbnail. But here we go, guys, back into the research center. And this is it. Where is it? Level 7 Hog Riders, 150,000 Dark Elixir. The training cost goes from 9 to 3, plus 3. Damn, that's expensive. So 120 Dark Elixir usually, but obviously we're only paying 12 because it is the Hog Rider event. Hit points are going up from 535 to 600, and the damage per second is going up from 118 all the way to 135. So that's not too bad. So here we go, 150,000 Dark Elixir. It has started. Should we GM it? Do you want to finish the upgrade of the Hog Rider for 1,863 gems? Yes, I do. And there we go, guys. Level 7 Hog Riders. Let's check out what they look like inside of the army camps. Damn, they look like they've been upgraded from standard heroes to superheroes. They look awesome. So do not forget, if this is the first time you are seeing the channel, my name is, of course, General Tony. Now, we are doing a 1 million subscriber giveaway, which ends tomorrow night, guys. If you want the chance to win a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox One, all you need to do to enter, leave a like on this episode right now and subscribe to this channel right now. The two winners will be random, guys. I will let you know who they are tomorrow night live on camera. So leave a like and subscribe to the channel to have a chance to win. But for now, we're going to get ourselves into a variety of different cool challenges. And you know what we're going to do to begin with, guys? We're actually going to attack my baby Tony base. Now, this base is awesome. We're going to attack from here. This is called the barricade. So check it out. There's basically a barricade, then a line of defenses, then another barricade, then another line of defenses, then another barricade, then another line of defenses, and then the final line of defenses. So what we're going to do... We're going to see what happens if you drop all the hog riders in on the barricade. So check it out, guys. They're hopping over the walls there. 
There goes every single one of the level 7, uh, level 7 hog riders. Obviously, they're gonna get completely, you know, wrecked loads of the base to begin with, but hopefully, they're gonna start to melt slowly as they deepen into the base. Big bombs are gonna go off, really torture them. We're not gonna use any spells, guys. We wanna see what these level 7 hog riders can do on their own with no spell placement against a very rush base. And look at that, guys. The barricade actually beat them, and they didn't really manage to do much damage. So the barricade... Thumbs up for the barricade, guys. It looks pretty cool. And there we go. Every single one of the hog riders has actually died. So we're going to try that again, except this time we're going to use a couple of spells, guys. So baby Tony, do me a favor. Yes, Tony. Send me another challenge, mate. There you go, Tony. I just sent another challenge. Cheers, baby Tony. I love you, Tony. I love you too, baby Tony. No, really? I'm, I'm only joking, guys. Okay, here we go. Into our second attack. So we're going to try this again. This time we got heal spells. So two heal spells. Let's see what we can do. Here we go. Hog Rider. So there you go. 48 Hog Riders into the base. Heal spells are at the ready. First line of defense is already taken down. Spring traps, little bombs. Whoa. We definitely. Oh, here comes some defending Hog Riders. I forgot to tell you that, guys. I put defending Hog Riders inside of our clan castle. There we go, though. The heal spells. Keeping those little piggies alive. Well, some of them. The rest of them are getting melted by the Inferno Tower. You know what, guys? There goes a Rage Spell. Can we take out those Inferno Towers? Can the Heal Spells keep the piggies alive? I'm not really sure. Here we go. Piggies running into the Air Sweeper now. They're about to get a beat down, though, from that Eagle Artillery. It's not looking too pretty. Okay, so, so far. Wow. We didn't even get to kill the defending, uh, the defending Clan Castle, obviously, because Hog Riders do not attack... The, uh, you know, troops. So we're going to try this one more time, except we're going to use every single spell this time. So we've got a free spell, a jump spell. we got a couple of heal spells and a rage spell, but we're going to delete the jump spell. And we're actually going to bring ourselves an extra... I was going to say an extra heal spell, but I want to go with a rage spell, guys. Rage spells are more fun. Baby Tony. Yes, Tony. Send another challenge. Okay, Tony. Challenge has been sent. There we go, guys. We're not going to do that again. I know, I know, it annoys you. So here we go, 48 Hog Riders at my disposal. Let's see what we can do with the Hog Riders. So here we go, let's see if we can three-star the base this time. There we go, every single one of the Hogs. We're going to lose a couple of them to Spring Trap straight away, guys. There's nothing I can do about that. There they go, off the map they go. Going to drop down a, a Poison Spell kind of in the middle. Okay, here we go. Heal spell's gonna go down. Rage spell and a free spell onto the Inferno Towers. And of course, those, um, we also dropped a free spell on the, the Skeletons. So it's looking a little bit better. Another Rage spell's gonna go down. The Inferno Towers are gone. They're history. We got Hog Riders moving all over the base. We still got quite a few of them alive. I do not see this becoming a three star though. Oh no, there we go. The last defense has been taken out. Now it's just down to the Hog Riders. The bash the hell out of the skeletons and of course the defending hog riders and the barbarian king there's just too many of them no hog rider hog rider hog rider yeah he's dead guys okay we got we got crushed okay i know what to do this time we're gonna deploy everything heroes hog riders everything's going into the battle we're gonna have to do this guys so we're gonna end the battle and one final chance against the barricade so this is gonna be the final try will tony beat the barricade Let's see what happens. So this time, we're gonna send in, we're gonna send in the Barbarian King, the Queen, the Grand Warden. Can you please all go in? There we go, guys. Okay, so the heroes are in. Now, obviously, these are only level one walls to begin with, so it shouldn't be too hard for the heroes to, you know, keep up with the Hog Riders. We're gonna go double Rage Spell, guys, and a Poison really early. Here we go. We're actually gonna keep the Heal Spells this time. There goes the, uh, there goes the Free Spell. There go the double Heal Spells now. Onto the piggies, and they're going to get themselves straight into the base. We're going to pop the Grand Warden's ability right now, making sure those piggies are immortal. And it looks like it's been a much more optimal battle. Check it out this time. We're also going to pop the hero's abilities of Barbarian King and the Archer Queen. Going to smash through the rest of the base. And it looks like it will be wow. That, only, that is not victory. That is complete destruction. I mean, we've got about 30, maybe even 40 Hog Riders left in the battle this time. I don't quite know how it worked out. Wow. Did we even lose a piggy? Did we even lose one? I mean, I, I literally have no idea. I mean, we can't count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I, I don't know how many there are, but I'm guessing there's at least, at least 30 to 35 hog riders on the map. And there we go. The barricade has been smashed. We literally smashed it into pieces. 
So this is going to be the end of the first episode, guys. Of course, there will be a second one coming in a matter of hours. And uh, you know me, guys. We like to do at least two episodes on the channel every day. Especially when there is some new cool content inside of the game. And, uh, you know, the updates just come out. There should be quite a lot of different variety of videos we can make. If you have anything you want to see, let me know down below in that comment section. Or feel free to drop me an email. The email will be in the description box down below. I can't reply to everyone because I get too many emails. I try to, you know, reply to 5 or 10% of them, guys, which is still a lot because I get hundreds of messages, thousands of messages, tens of thousands, hundreds of emails, loads of DMs. So I try and reply to as many as I can. So leave a like if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel, guys. I will see you, as I said, in a couple of hours' time for another episode. Have a great Tuesday. Peace out.